We introduced you to Mary Beam and her sister Irene Dorenzo. In 2021, they filed a complaint with the State Office of Healthcare Quality, OHCQ, about their sister Lynn's care at a Maryland nursing home. They expected their complaint to be investigated, but say they never heard back. We were given a case number within a week of, of the Office of Healthcare Quality receiving our complaint. Now, what do they do with that log of case numbers? How many other cases never got inspected or, or never got evaluated? It's a breakdown in the system, and it shouldn't be a breakdown in the system. The health department's deputy secretary says that shouldn't happen. We're logging every single complaint, and we don't believe we've lost any complaints. Now, if we didn't follow up with the family, and if you tell us the information, we're happy to see what communication there was and to correct that if there was an issue. So we want people to have a dignified existence. Stevan Ellis is Maryland's long-term care ombudsman for nursing home and assisted living residents. We are concerned, our program is concerned about um, some of the nursing homes and a lot of the concerns we have to do are related to care. Um, in fiscal year 23, care was our number one complaint, issues around care. The biggest concern, she says, abuse and neglect. She's tried to resolve things like staffing problems directly with nursing homes. I have talked to the administration about, you know, do you have adequate staff in the building and have you thought about perhaps maybe stopping admissions for a little while until you can have enough staff to care for the residents you have. And most facilities that I have a discussion with um, have not been open to that suggestion. Are you ready to close down a place that doesn't do what it's supposed to do? If we need to, we will. We take nursing home safety very seriously. Dr. Nalesh Kalyanaraman would not discuss any specific complaints or nursing homes. His view? I think the state of nursing homes is we're in good shape as a state, but we have to maintain vigilance and oversight of our nursing homes. He says the Office of Healthcare Quality handles all kinds of complaints. They are triaged and based on the seriousness of the issue investigated. Staffing and not having adequate staffing is another reason we would go out quickly to make sure that people are being taken care of, right? There aren't enough people there to take care of those nursing home residents. That's a massive red flag. As for Mary Beam and Irene Dorenzo, they still want to know what happened to their complaint and why they never got a response. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Barry Sims. Well, if you're trying to choose a nursing home, you can go to the WBAL-TV app for information that can help.